In this episode, we will learn to configure hair physics based on head and body input. For projects that use manual physics or do not require physics, you may skip the following. To use physics, you need to create the movements for the physics parameters before working on the physics configurations. For this model, we have already created the movements for the physics parameters. Let's start on the physics configuration. Click on Modeling, then select Physics slash Scene Blending to open the Physics Settings window. We will start with configuring the physics for the back hair. Click on the Add button next to the Group drop-down menu. Once the Add a Group dialog pops up, create a group with the name Back Hair. Next, we'll add presets. There are multiple types of presets that affect the behavior of the physics mechanic. For the back hair physics, we will select Head Input. Physics model presets are settings that define the weight and length of a swinging pendulum node. We can select which preset to use based on the object shape and size, and the number of parameter its physics act on. You can also skip selecting a preset as well. If you wish to manually set up the values, you may leave this section empty. Currently, we're setting physics for back hair. We can select the hair long preset and click OK. This completes the creation of back hair physics group. Once you created the group, the preset contents will be in use in the physics settings dialog. You can also change the preset by clicking on the drop down menu. Next, click on the output settings tab. We will now connect the input settings to the back hair physics parameter. Click on Add to open the Output Parameter dialog. Select the parameters for the physics output. For now, we select Back Hair Move and we can click OK to complete the action. Click drag on the view area. The model's head and body will follow your cursor. This is where you check if the output has been connected to the input properly. or. You can also move the input parameter directly here to check the physics reaction. Once you have confirmed the physics input and output are connected, we can now adjust the strength and speed of the movement. Let's move to the physics model settings and adjust the pendulum setting. Duration changes the speed of the shaking. A smaller value means swifter movements. A larger value means slower movements. Shaking influence changes the range of movement. A bigger value means the physics output is more sensitive to the trigger input. We recommend setting this value at around 0.7 to 0.95. Reaction time defines how soon the parameter responds to an input. If the value is greater than 1, it will react sooner. If it's less than 1, then the reaction is delayed. Overall acceleration changes how soon the physics stops. If it's greater than 1, it will stop sooner. If it's less than one, it will last longer. The moment you change the values, the outcome will immediately be reflected in the preview box. You can then confirm whether the movement is matching what you have in mind. If the amount of movement is too subtle or too strong, switch to the output setting tab and confirm the output maximum percent column. Output maximum percent shows the maximum percent applied to the parameter. Right now, the output maximum percent indicates it reaches 50%. In this case, click Increase Output to automatically adjust the output percentage. The maximum output is now scaled to 100%. The back hair parts are now moving in 100% amount of its physics. On the other hand, if the output exceeds 100%, the movement may go beyond the available range. If this happens, click Decrease Output to automatically adjust the values. Take a look at the model now. You can see the output has been suppressed and there is no more choppy movement. You may also manually adjust the values. 
Scaling the physics can amplify or reduce the movement. But if the swinging range is too small or swinging chaotically, this indicates that there may be an issue with either the pendulum setting or the magnification setting. Both should be checked and adjusted. It is important to note that most of the time, the cursor tracked physics movement is not the same as motion playback physics movement. We recommend prioritizing the maximum output to be configured for cursor tracking. It would be applicable for both the cursor tracking and face tracking. On the other hand, if your project is only using motion playback, we can ignore the shaking preview with cursor tracking and just focus on the maximum output for motion playback. After learning about horizontal swinging motion, we will now learn how to handle vertical. This time we will work on the bust physics. Create a group and set the preset in the same way you did to the back hair. Select bust input with the physics model preset bust small. Click on the output settings tab and add bust move parameter as output. Check if the bus movement is linked to the input. You can also click Add on the Input Settings Preset section to add other parameters as input or change an existing input parameter into another parameter from the drop-down menu. You can make minor adjustments in the Physics Model Settings section similar to how you've adjusted the back hair physics. Bus movements should differ from hair movement. For bus movements, the physics should be faster and stop sooner in order to appear more natural. Next, we will set up multi-pendulum physics with skinning. Let's try applying skinning to side hair. For movements that require more than two pendulums, select hair double pendulum or hair triple pendulum. If there are a lot of parameters, select 10 divided or 20 divided in the drop-down menu. You will see the multiple pendulums appear in the Physics Model Settings section. When there are many nodes, hover over the preview and use the scrolling wheel to zoom out to display all nodes. The number of the nodes can be increased or decreased with the Add and Delete buttons. Head to the Output setting and add the output parameters. For the targeted hair movement, select the movement parameters from the root to the end of the hair. Hold the shift key to select multiple parameters. When ready, click OK. The numbers on the pendulum no of the top panel correspond to the pendulum number. Pendulum no 1 below corresponds to the parameter for pendulum number 1 in the upper panel. Pendulum no 2 corresponds to the parameter for pendulum number 2. If there are more parameters than the number of pendulums, we can add more pendulums so that the number of parameters matches up. When you add more of them, you may need to set the output parameters as well. Check if the model is moving in the way as you intended. If you have a motion file ready, you can play the animation in the physics settings. Click on Scene Blend and select Settings of CMO3 and CAN3 Linkage. Click on Refer to this file and then click on Reference. Select the corresponding CAN3 file. Click on Load and the animation file will load into Cubism. Click OK to complete the linking. We still need a few more steps before we can play the animation. Let's create a playlist. Click on the Scene Blending tab to switch over to the Scene Blend settings. On the left, there is a scene list that displays all the motion files found inside the CAN3. Click on the Add button on the Playlist tab and enter a name for the new playlist. Click OK. A new playlist is added to the drop-down menu. We can now add motion scenes to the playlist. Hold the control key to select multiple motions. 
Hold the Shift key to select all motions within the range of selection. With motion scene selected, click on the Add button to add these motions to the playlist. Under the Play the Scene tab, click on the drop down menu to select the motion scene to play back. Cursor tracking motion may have very different physics movement compared to the motion scene playback. If you are creating motion files, it is best to load the motion scenes into the physics slash scene blend settings to check the physics movement. This is the end of the tutorial related to physics configuration. You can now try to complete the rest of the physics setup. In the next episode, we will learn about adjusting motion data.